In this video, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of our larger Nurse Fanny Pack and our smaller one. And very simply, the way that these were designed is that our smaller one is going to be more or less the same configuration as this part and it's going to be slightly bigger than just this alone uh, but you're just going to be missing this side pocket including uh, the stethoscope holder um, but really they can fit more or less the same amount of things and i'll kind of walk you through those but if you want to see separate videos i'll have separate videos of just looking at our smaller one and our larger one the good thing is that both of these come in um, two different waist ranges um, and so uh, they generally will fit most people in terms of the minimum or the maximum you just have to find which size will work best for you you obviously will lose a little bit in terms of the overall maximum size on this smaller one because we're missing this but generally we'll have the sizes kind of span the same waist range so our pockets down here are going to be very similar in both we'll see um, this one we can be using for either cell phones, we can be using for things like change or, or cash, anything that needs to be a little bit more secure. It'll fold down just like that. We'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of our other one, which uh, will also fit our phone um, just nicely with some cash or uh, coins instead. The next pocket will be the one right above that, which is going to be full width going across but just won't have our um, Velcro to it. So that can fit a cell phone just fine. And again, um, not all phones will fit um, in this pocket, but most should. And if you can't fit your phone in here, there's definitely pockets up here or here that you can put it as well. The next one is gonna be our pen pockets. And these are gonna be fairly similar overall. You can probably fit about three or so pens in each of these pockets, maybe even a fourth one um, on some of these side pockets going all over here and here. So they'll fit just nicely going in both of them. You'll notice that things are slightly, at least from this side alone, uh, slightly fit a little bit more. It's a little bit looser on this one than just this alone, but you miss this uh, complete section. And, and that's mainly because there's a seam here that you kind of tighten things up as in this situation when compared to here. Our next pockets are going to be the same where we have one bigger pocket for every two pen pockets and that's going to be this one and this one. Same thing on this side, we're going to have a pocket like that and then we're going to have that pocket right there. So you can fit things either like syringes, you can also fit scissors, so scissors will fit just nicely in there. I've also seen people put scissors on this strap like this. So this comes undone. They'll put the scissors in like that. And it'll just be kind of hanging across, especially if they just need something that's easy access. The only downside is that this doesn't get very much range, so they still have to unbuckle it and redo it. So a lot of other people use this for tape. They also use it to attach their IV caps as well. So those will go on here in the morning. You'll just kind of pin it like that and then you put a few of them here and then just kind of pin them there so every single time you just have to take off one of these ivy caps whenever you needed to okay so those are two different ways that you can use that this bigger pocket is going to be the full width so this can fit many different things you can use it for syringes so you could probably fit six or so here same thing over there you can probably fit six or so there you can also be using this for if you have some of our reference sheets, those can go in like that or like that, okay? The main differences between the two is going to be on our left side, it's also going to be um, on the back. So on this left side right here, what we have is we can use this for a stethoscope holder. So this will kind of keep things out of the way um, in terms of your stethoscope won't be around your neck. Also, one is the cleanliness of it being on your neck. The second would be um, it pulling your hair, especially if you have long hair. So this will just open up like that. You'll put in the stethoscope, take it out, and then strap it back. So you can use it with the stethoscope holder. You do not have to use it for the stethoscope holder, either if you don't use a stethoscope or you have some other method of holding it. On this side, you're also going to have two more pen pockets, a wider pocket that goes the full length like that, 
and then another one here that can fit. Um, more so this can be utilized if you're not using the stethoscope holder, but it can't be that useful when you have a stethoscope in there, just because it's going to be things that you're not going to be accessing as frequently. So the major difference between the two is going to be this side right here. The back is going to be our other difference. And so the main thing that's different with this back is in the overall width. So what I like to do is I like to have my papers go into the back like this. And so it can kind of fit in um, whatever papers you need. This one can do the same thing. It can fit papers, but the benefit is if you don't want things folded up, it can easily fit an eight and a half by 11 sheet and still have about an inch to spare. So depending on what your preferences are, um, that's kind of what you can use them. These pockets in the back aren't the thickest and they were never designed to uh, store very thick things. It was really just for papers or thin pieces like that. So these are going to be the main differences. It's more a matter of preference. Do you want something that's going to be a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier, but then has more functionality in terms of wider to store more paper, also to store your stethoscope, or do you want something a little bit more compact and lighter? So it kind of depends on what you want, but overall the biggest difference is just going to be the side pocket, so it's just a little bit wider, but overall has the same structure, and that's what we were going for. Be sure to check out our website, medicalbasics.com, for more educational resources, like our progress notebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and lessons.